Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the Rose Gardens today in the beautiful Thompson Park in Burnley. We've come here today to ride on the Thompson Park Miniature Railway. You can also have a boat ride here. You can hire a boat as some people just up there are doing and row around the lake here and then go and have a train ride. Um, I'm not going to worry about having a boat ride because I'm more interested in trains, but you know, it'd be quite fun to do. So I'm going to leave the Rose Gardens behind. There's the pavilion, oh, just going behind and behind that tree. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you over this bridge here and we're going to go down, we're going to walk through the gardens and soon we shall come to the Thompson Park Miniature Railway. So this is quite an extensive miniature railway. It's one I've never been to before, so I'm really excited about this one. There's the pavilion. Yeah, see the signs. It says Italian Garden Miniature Railway and Rose Garden where we've just come from. So, take you over the bridge here, and uh, there you have a look at the views over the lake. So, a really nice view. It's a really, really lovely park here. The reservoir helps us. You just see the people down there enjoying a row, rowing their boats. We're going to go down here now. We've got across the river Brun. I think that's how it's pronounced, which is. The river flowing right in front of us. And on the other side of the river is the railway we're looking for, which um, goes all around the Italian garden. So we'll see the railway, whether we'll see a train or not, and then we'll walk through the Italian gardens. And on the other side of the Italian gardens is the railway station. So we might see a train. It, it does such an interesting circuit that, you know, you sort of see one bit of track, and then you walk along and there's another bit of track. Um, as, as you'll see when we go on it, effectively does a figure of eight and then a big loop round the outside. So you can sort of look in one direction, you'll see two trains moving in different directions. So it's a really, really exciting miniature railway. And um, I've got to say, it looks like it's going to take us through some really attractive scenery. So just coming here, this is the river here. Yeah. It even says now, as we approach, the, as we go onto the bridge, it says beware of trains which we will find very soon after crossing the River Brun. So, as we come off the bridge, you can see we have a railway line, we have a railway line here, and we have a railway line there. And um, so this is what I said, you, you could sort of walk along, um, the train could be running one way on one, the other way on the other. So we're going to ride around all of this so I've been told the railway is a kilometer and nine meters so you know it's more than half a mile's worth of ride so we're gonna have you know a really good long ride um, which we're gonna really enjoy now this here this is the Italian gardens so that's where I'm gonna take you through so this is the outer circuit of the railway encircling the Italian gardens Let's let you have another look at the river And then, once we've been through the Italian gardens, which are just as beautiful as the rose gardens, we'll come to the railway station. Where, and that is where I said I'm really looking forward to our trip on the Thompson Park Miniature Railway. So I'm going to take you over a little level crossing here. And go into the Italian gardens. And there we have the Italian gardens in front of us. I believe this was all laid out in the 1930s as a town park. Um, so it's, it's a bit like walking around a stately home, although as far as I'm aware this never was a stately home, it, it always has been, you know, a public park. Um, but it's inspired by, you know, some of the stately homes, the gardens they would have had, but this one has always been for the public to enjoy. And then it's when we come out of here, we come to the railway station. And we have a sign, it does say trains are running today, which is um, a very welcome sign. And um, there we have the station, and um, there's a few trains waiting for us. So it says Thompson Park Miniature Railway, trains are operating. What I'm going to do, um, the public will join this queue here, 
I've already spoken to them, they've said this is all right. I'm just going to come up to the station this way, so while they're quiet, I can just show you some of the locos they've got. Now this, I really like. You can see we have a tram, and it says Burnley Cooperation Tramways. Now if you look at the number of it, it's number 74. Now the reason it's number 74 is because when Burnley did have a tram network, the tram numbers went up to number 73. So had there then been any more trams, the next one would have been number 74. So seeing as this is the first tram since the tram network to be built to run in Burnley, albeit a park rather than the actual tram network, they've given it number 74. I'm waiting down there, we have a Union Pacific loco. And we go across here. And this, I really like. Got class 91. 9101, and its, um, num its name is Swallow because it's got the intercity swallow livery, which I really like to see, because as a child I remember seeing the Class 91s, I remember going up to York on a Class 91 in this livery. Um, so yeah, that, that's really nice to see. I think now, now it's time for us to go and have a ride.
I've had a few rides here today. Um, it's the first time I've been on a Class 91 in city livery for quite a long time. There is one of the East Coast ones is currently going round in city livery, which I think is really nice. Um, but you know, if you want to not travel quite so far on a Class 91, you can always come here to Thompson Park. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk up here. Um, I'm going to show you something over here first. Um, I've been given permission by the railway to, to show you a little a few other things. When the railway first started, it was just this simple circuit here. So can you see this bit of track here? We didn't travel on this bit of track. It now really provides a quick route from the station back to the shed. So that is the original line. Then I believe the figure of eight was built and then the wider loop was built. Um, so we come up here. We have a Union Pacific locomotive, another Union Pacific. We've got two Union Pacific locos here. This one actually came from the Brookside Miniature Railway. So we've got one there, got another loco there, 
We've got this little loco here, the smallest loco. Seems to have the biggest carriages, which I think is quite nice. So we've got closely while there's no trains coming. And uh, let you have a look. And if you have a look, I don't know if you can see it there, but you might be able to see the action man is driving that one. Um, is there a train coming? No, oh, no, there's not a train coming, but there's a tram coming. So we watched the, the tram go past us on the main line, which um, I really enjoyed having a trip behind. I mean, where else would you get a Class 91, a tram, and even a Pacific Loco in one day? Um, I think that's quite an exciting, um, you know, variety of different rolling stock we've had. So let's take you some time to And we're here. I'm just going to show you yeah, have a quick look in the engine sheds. To add to the variety, this is cool. Look, we have a class 150 DMU. So uh, class 150s, you know, they're fairly common around the north of England and in Wales, and um, you'd also find them in the southwest. So I, I like 150s. Um, you know, I just think they're nice DMU. So I always enjoy a trip on a full-size one. And here we have a miniature one. It's a free car one. There's only two free car ones in real life. All the others are two car 150s. And then if we have a look here, got another diesel loco. And um, here we have a steam locomotive for Sarah. And then another old favourite of mine, a good old HST. And then we have there's a scamp locomotive and there's another diesel locomotive behind the scamp. So I'm going to take you back out the shed. As we come out the engine shed, let's have one more thing to show you, the carriage shed. Now this is really quite cool. These carriages can go in here, they can be lifted up, so you can see that carriage in mid-air. So they lift them up and down, they can set, um, push in another set of carriages on the track below that one. There's that locomotive from Brookside. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head off. I've had a great afternoon here at the Thompson Park Miniature Railway. It really is a lovely railway. Um, volunteers here are really friendly. So, you know, if you're in Burnley, why not come and visit this railway and have a walk around the park, enjoy the gardens, maybe row a boat around the lake. It's um, a really lovely park, this is. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment um, from Burnley Park and Burnley Cooperations Tramway number 74. Goodbye.